What was your first big break? I did a feature film, and it was a very dramatic role. Talk to me about the process of writing the book. The direction change, it was very therapeutic for me. You wrote about your dad, some of the abusive things he did. I wanted to not leave that out because it was a very traumatic experience. Not to be too personal, but at night, do you guys go to the same bedroom? <laughs> I love your style. <laughs>
Listen, you're gonna do what I say. I can make your life very unpleasant if you don't listen. Am I clear? Now, what was your first big break? So when I moved to LA, I did a, a feature film and I, I um, it, it was a very dramatic role and it was, um, it, it was like on, in the theaters for a few weeks. So I really enjoyed that. And also just like the whole process, how slow it is when you're making a movie, like you're most of the time in your trailer until you're shooting. Um, and so it just validated that, yeah, this is what I want to keep doing this forever. What are two or three of the things that you would tell someone who is trying to make it, who's, who may be working on the side as a waitress, maybe working on the side as a waiter, maybe working, you know, any of a number of jobs, but really wants it. What would be two or three things that maybe they can't read in a book, they can't hear elsewhere, but that you think helped you? Well, the main thing to remember that it is okay when you move here and if you need to have a job in order to survive, it is, don't get discouraged. Like it, most people, everyone that I know did that, except if you if you had family in Hollywood and that's, you know, a lot of them is nepotism. Unfortunately that happens, but <laughs> but um, don't get discouraged. I remember when I moved here, I, I had a full-time job. I worked as a hospice um, social worker um, when I moved here for four years. Blanca, if you hadn't succeeded as an actor, what do you think you would be doing right now professionally? Well, I mean, if I didn't succeed as an actor, I would be doing therapy. <laughs> Especially with women, when you get a certain age, you know, they, there's discrimination, you know? It's like all these things that we have to deal with. So I, I felt that it prepared me. And so definitely, if I didn't make it as an actress, you know, I had already my plan, plan B. I appreciate your having to... Uh... Calm down, calm down. I know she's a bit spoiled, but she's incredibly good. Blanca, when you think about your career, what work are you most proud of? Well, I'm proud whenever I finish a movie and then when I go and watch it, because I know all the hard work that went behind it, you know? Like, I remember, I, I can tell you, like, how many hours I put in the script, um, how, how much improvise I did in my house. And, and so look forward, what would you love to be true, Blanca, a decade from now, two decades from now? What would you love to be true about your career? Well, I want to continue doing acting and I, I have amazing, you know, I would like to work with amazing directors um, like Guillermo del Toro, um, Steven Spielberg, you know, like uh, Robert Rodriguez, just amazing directors that I admire. And just to see more Latino le leading leads. Talk to me about the most surprising thing that happened to you in the process of writing the book. The surprising thing is the direction change because I lost my mom during the process of writing my book. So that was a, a change for me. But the good thing is that I uh, it was very therapeutic for me, and I was able to really just be very transparent with my readers. Tell me a little bit about your mom, uh, Blanca. What, what is she very similar to you, different than you? Everybody liked her in the in the community. Like she was very likable. She always had like a big laugh. She laughed about everything. And then we were very close. Like I started writing writing journals when I was nine years old, and she would buy them to me, and she would be, you know, write everything that you're feeling. Because maybe when you're older, you can write a you can write a book or you can use this. But she always encouraged my my big dreams. You know, like I would have dreams that were, you know, when you live in a garage and you're nine years old and you tell people, I'm gonna be an actress, I'm gonna go to Hollywood, and then just look like you, oh, okay, yeah, sure. My dreams were too big for most people to handle, like growing up, but my mom always accepted them. In part of the book you wrote about uh, your dad, some of the abusive things he did, did this experience of writing the book make you think differently about him in one way or another? I don't have any any preconceived notion, but, but what did that do to how you think about him and how you, and, and how you envision him? I wanted to not leave that out of my book because it was a very um, traumatic experience. And I thought since I'm writing about being, you know, vulnerable and being transparent, I need to put something that is, uh, um, I've been keeping behind doors, you know, as a kid. So yeah, definitely he was, uh, he will be very abusive and, you know, hit me and stuff and growing up. Um, but by writing the book, it just made me stronger. But then after I finished the book and I'm just like, you know, like it is my story. I need to share my story and this is my journey. 
and he created to my story. So I need to just continue with my path. Um, and that's what I did. It made me stronger. Like, I'm not afraid, you know? Tell me a little bit about your life partner because you guys have been together for a long time and you've got oh, kind yeah. of Oh yeah, it's been like three marriages in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> how long have you guys been together? Over 11 years. And how did you guys meet? We met on the set. And I think he was very sweet. I had just gone through a breakup, so I was single, but we didn't talk until six months after because I needed time to be alone, you know? It's good to have your own space. You know, we have our own bedrooms too, you know? Like, we just get, like, we gotta focus on ourselves. Oh, very interesting, your own bedroom. So, at, not to be too personal, but at night, do you guys go to the same bedroom or to a different one? No, no, well, we have our own bedrooms and then we get together and stuff, but um, definitely, like, when we're, like, working on our stuff, we have our own, like, space. There's so many couples I know now who have an age difference, and so it doesn't even feel like a big deal anymore, but has it been a good thing or a bad thing or a non-thing for you guys? I just feel like when you have the same age, uh, the woman is more mature than the men most of the time, so you need someone older. John, in the beginning, I just thought, I didn't have to deal with a lot of the, you know, BS that I had to deal with the ex, you know, where it was, you can tell that he is more mature. What's your best relationship advice? Like if you were speaking to uh, someone else who's younger and is looking for a little advice on, on love and relationships, what's your best love and relationship advice? Just make sure that if there's no chemistry in the beginning, don't even pursue it. Because you sometimes you go with the intention, well, you know, there's, you know, I, I can see in the future. No, that's just like, if there's no chemistry in the beginning, there's not gonna be chemistry at the, you know, later. Hey, Blanca, as we uh, wrap up, I wanna do what I call rapid fire with you. Do you mind if I hit you with a bunch of quick questions? Sure, sure. What's your favorite book of all time? So my favorite book is uh, Not Without My Daughter. Who's your favorite actress of all time? Angelina Jolie. If you could have dinner with anyone, dead or alive, who would you love to have dinner with? I would have dinner with my with my grandma and my mom. Where's the most beautiful place you've ever been to, Blanca? Vietnam. Which part? Which city? Um, Ho Chi Minh City. Um, I learned the culture was so rich. I learned so much in that trip that I learned in other countries I visited. Blanca, thank you for this time. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I love your style, by the way. I, I watch some of your, your videos and I just love it. You just have like a very s sweet smile. So I was happy that you interviewed me. Oh, you know, thank you very much for that. Hey, really hope you enjoyed meeting Blanca Blanco. What an interesting, thoughtful person. Uh, I really see her as a terrific executive. Can't wait to see where she goes from here. I think she would be wonderful as a film director too. I think she'd do good things with it. All right, listen, if you're enjoying The Carlos Watson Show, remember we got goodness every single day. Check us out on YouTube. There's all sorts of good stuff here, there, and everywhere. See you soon.